Hi again, folks, and welcome back to Meaningful Money. Okay, I'm still here uh, up above uh, Redruth, um, and we're continuing on our series of Mega Basics, okay? And today, it is, what is a pension? Um, it's easy for somebody like me who deals with this stuff every day to take for granted terms and phrases that we use every day. Um, but like uh, many of the sort of uh, technical terms, pension can be a confusing one. So the purpose of this video is to just explain dead simply what it is and how it works. And um, there's an awful lot more detail which I'll point you to uh, in due course. For an introduction on pensions generally, okay, go to episode 42 and I'm gonna put the link this time up in that corner. So click that and um, that'll take you straight to episode 42 where I explain a little bit more detail. But this is mega basics here, okay? What is a pension? Well, that word usually can mean two things. Firstly, it can mean a savings plan that you save up in over time. Secondly, it can mean an income that you get when you retire. There is a dividing line when we talk about pensions and we'll call that line retirement, okay? And on one side of the line is um, uh, you're pre-retired, you're not retired yet, you're still working, you're still saving up uh, for one day what will be the longest holiday of your life, which is the other side of the line, which is retirement, okay? And we use the word pension, rather unhelpfully, at either side of that line. So let's talk about the pre-retirement line. My age, you know, strapping, well, slightly too covered, but you know, this side of retirement, I'm not ready to uh, hang up my uh, uh, pen and paper yet and stop doing what I'm doing for a living. Uh, so, when we talk about a pension this side of retirement, we are simply talking about a savings plan, right? So, you something you save into, which will build up a fund for you, which you can eventually take as an income, which we'll come to in a minute. So, a pension is a plan. It's usually a policy. It's taken out with an insurance company, usually. Um, you'll have heard of some of the big insurance companies, Legal and General, Standard Life, uh, Aviva, which used to be called Norwich Union, which everybody understands. Um, these companies provide pensions and they charge you, of course, but what they do is they look after your money and they invest it in such a way that hopefully it grows over time and makes your pot bigger. There's tons of different types of pensions and I've got a video on pretty much every different type. So start at episode 43, which I think we'll put the link up there this time. Start at episode 43. Um, and then see where that takes you. Um, if you go to the actual website, if you're watching this on the YouTube site or on Facebook, if you go to meaningfulmoney.tv, then there's an index and that's uh, hopefully pretty more helpful. Lots of different types of pension. The thing about pensions when you're saving into them is that they are very tax efficient. And that just means that while your money is in there, it's not paying a lot of tax, a little bit, but not a lot, which means it grows quicker because the government is getting less of your money, which is a good thing, right? So it's a tax efficient, we call that. It means it's growing largely free of any tax. The other thing which is important to say about pensions and how they're different from any other kind of savings pot you might have, is that the government gives you money for saving into them. That sounds even better, doesn't it? And we call that tax relief. And it simply means that for every 80p or so that you put into a pension, the government will make it up to a nice round pound. So that's a real good reason to save into a pension. So that word pension, if we're pre-retired, simply means the pot, the policy, the account that we are saving into uh, for our rainy day future. Right, with me so far. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the other side of the retirement line, which is post-retirement. So I've now hung up my pen and paper. I'm now uh, relaxing with my wife in my villa in Spain or my chalet in the Alps or whatever. Um, and I am now enjoying an income, but without working for it. Perfect, let's hope so anyway. Okay, that's what your financial planning is about. But what we don't, we don't now talk so much about pensions as a fund or a pot or a savings account that we're saving into. Now we talk about receiving a pension. I'm now a pensioner. I'm taking my pension income. So uh, we talk about the state pension, the old age pension, which we get currently from age 65, and so that's gonna be going up. Um, and that is what we get from the government. It's about 145 quid a week, something like that, uh, if you've paid your national insurance uh, through your working life. 
and so I'm a old age pensioner. It's a great phrase, isn't it? Okay, we call it slightly more uh, um, acceptably now the state pension rather than the old age pension. Um, but effectively, that's what it is. So uh, a pension now is an income. But also my pot that I've been building up can be converted into an income. And that is also called a pension. So that might be my private pension or my company pension if I've worked for a company for a long time and they're paying me a retirement income as well. So we've had the pot on one side of the line, now we've got the income on the other side of the line. And they both are called pensions, okay? It's just designed to be confusing, isn't it? For much more information about pensions, look at episodes 42 to 60 uh, of Meaningful Money. We're now on uh, whoa, 83, I think. So look at those episodes and I hope they'll be useful. Lots and lots and lots of information there. Um, and, and it's broken down into all the different types and how you get an income out and things like that. But this has been a mega basic, what is a pension? Answer, it's two things, a pot you're saving and an income that you will one day get. So I hope that's helpful. Next time we're going to look at inflation, a word again you hear a lot about, it's very much in the headlines at the moment, uh, lots of talk about inflation and interest rates in the Bank of England. Next time I'm going to talk about what is inflation. Hope that's been helpful and I'll see you next time. Goodbye from uh, just a little way above Ridruth. <laughs>